right, we are continuing to go live to the funeral for Officer Kevin Cram in Algona. Right now, speaker's up there to speak about Officer Cram, so we're going to take a listen in there. Saying hi, and I, I just remember seeing, geez, looks like he's maybe been in a hog barn or a cattle barn or something. And as I walked by, I was able to confirm that with the smell, that he was a hard worker and he was outside. We passed by with just that high. I grew up on a farm, so I didn't think much of it. Kevin didn't care much about his looks. He cared about a life of service. That was instilled into him. His father has been on EMS most of his life. Kevin's wife, brother in law enforcement. Service to communities is just what they do. In these past few days, telling stories and hearing stories, Almost every story about Kevin was talking about him always giving, he always gave, and barely ever receiving anything. That's who Kevin Cram was, a great man. There is a saying that def what defines a person. What defines a person's action is when, not what they're looking, it's when no one's looking. I, think, I believe that was written on behalf of Kevin Cram. Because no matter what he was doing, it was always for good. <clears throat> Kevin Cram was an officer when he received a call at work. No one ever had to worry about it. You knew he was going to handle that with compassion and he was going to handle it with professionalism. Every time. He took so much pride in his work. He was always there to help the next officer. He was always there to help me. If I needed something done and I asked Kevin, or if I said to anybody, hey, can I, can I get a little help? He would be the first person to say, yeah, I'll handle it. And I knew I never had to worry about that again because I knew it would be done and done well. Kevin Cram cared so much for his family. He loved bringing his kids fishing, hunting, and just doing anything he could do. An officer speaking on the character of fallen officer Kevin Cram saying he was the type of person with a character who was a person of integrity, especially when no one was watching, paying tribute to him there. Local 5's Megan McPherson joins us live from Algona. What are you seeing out there right now, Megan? Hey, Samantha, as Larissa mentioned earlier in the show, we are seeing hundreds and hundreds of people come out here to Algona today. That, of course, doesn't even include the residents and people across the state of Iowa who have come here today. Estimates of 800 to 1,000 law enforcement officials from across the state coming to pay their respects to this officer. Now, earlier this morning, the media heard from Algona Police Chief Bo Miller. He gave a short uh, statement to the media about who Kevin was, and he also thanked the community and the media for giving coverage to this event and for coming to this community to pay their respects to Kevin. We're going to listen to him here, what he had to say to us earlier this morning. Kevin Graham lived the life of being a hero, and he died one. Kevin loved his family, and he served the citizens of Eldona with integrity, honor, and loyalty. Now, looking ahead, after the funeral service concludes this morning, there will be a procession starting here in Algona and going to the Corwith Cemetery. Corwith is about 30 minutes away from here, and that was Officer Kevin Cram's hometown. People are encouraged to line the processional route with posters, flags, signs. Of course, school canceled here today so that as many people as possible can attend the procession and honor the fallen officer. Samantha, back to you. Megan, thank you. And again, that was the police chief speaking on the character of Kevin, fallen officer Kevin Cram, saying he was someone who was always reliable no matter the situation. Our crews will remain in Algona throughout the day. We'll have full coverage throughout the morning right here on Local 5 on WeAreIowa.com, our YouTube channel, and We Are Iowa Plus.